Oh, this is so much fun. I feel like everyone needs to do this in their life. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago, Linz got in touch with me on Instagram, wanting me to try out a balloon acrylic painting technique. So I watched the video that Linz recommended and I'm gonna try some balloon painting, but I'm also gonna try some different unusual fluid art techniques that I saw online while I was watching this video, just to see what they're like and see if they're any good and see how much of a waste of paint they're gonna be. But if you have any ideas for any videos, then you're more than welcome to get in touch with us on either Instagram or Twitter and you you know, I might end up doing it. I also might not. It just depends how I feel. Okay, so the first painting technique that I'm going to be doing is a string pull. And I'm pretty sure plenty of people have seen this floating around on the internet where they use chains or bits of string to kind of pull the paint across the canvas. And sometimes I think they do actually get a really nice result. Also, I'm just thinking back, someone else might have recommended this balloon painting technique to us a while back, and I just can't remember who it was. So if you're that person, I'm sorry that I forgot where you mentioned it or who you were. But I'm, I'm sure a second person did. I might be wrong. It might have just been Linz. Okay, so I've already got my canvas primed. And for all of these acrylic paw paintings, I'm going to be using some of these that I've bought. These paw paints. And they're from Magic Fly. So if they end up being very good, then you know which paints I'm using. If they end up being awful, you know not to buy them. Right, so even though I've already primed this canvas, I still need a layer of black on top of this so that the string can kind of pull through it. So I'm just going to add a layer of black paw and paint on top of this. Okay, I think that'll be good enough. Right, now what colours do I want to use? Go for a white. I definitely have to go for a neon pink, obviously. Forest green, I think, will be nice. How many colours do I want to use? Just one more. We'll go for a yellow as well. Oh, I've just got paint all over my t-shirt already. <sighs> I swear, I have to be the messiest person in the world. You probably just can't see that, but I've literally just flicked blue paint all over us. Never mind, never mind. I'm just so used to it now. Hopefully these paints are washable. Right, so then you just take a bit of string. And I know some people do multiple bits of string. I'm just going to keep it at the one for now. Because obviously I've never done this before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. And then you're supposed to layer colours onto a surface. This. I hope this washes out of my table as well. I'm sure it will. It'll be fine. Okay, that's that done. And then you just dip your string into the paint. I feel very nervous about this because it can easily just go all wrong, can't it? And knowing my look, it will go all wrong. And then you just gently pick up each side of the string. And then you want to kind of do like a spiral technique. And then I think you just pull it down. Place your bets on whether I get paint all over myself. Ah, okay. Yeah, it kind of looks like flowers. Shall I try another one? That looks okay, but it just looks a bit, just a little bit bland. I'll add some more strings, why not? I'll just use the same bit of string. I don't think it really matters, does it? I don't know whether mine's looking very nice. I'll get rid of this bit of string, I'll try a fresh one. I don't know whenever I see other people do it, theirs looks way more colorful. Mine's very subtle and... I don't know, it just doesn't look nice. Try one more long bit of string, see if that does anything. I feel like you don't get a ton of control over this technique. Ah, that just made it look worse. I don't think string pulling's for me, you know. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm tempted to do something with it, but I'm supposed to be doing just these techniques. So if I start going crazy with it, then that's that's not right, is it? It's not allowed. I'll put it to one side and it might dry better than what it looks like wet. But at the moment, it doesn't look all right, does it? It just looks a bit messy. We'll see. Hopefully I'll have better luck with these next techniques because I, I didn't like that one. <laughs> okay, now I feel like this technique is probably one of the most wasteful techniques that I'm going to be doing. And what I've read online is you basically pour a bunch of porous acrylic paints on a flat surface. They use cling film in theirs, but I think any non-porous surface would work just fine. So I've got this little black tub. I've got my canvas already primed. Dunk all my paints in here, and then you dip the canvas in. Now, I only prepared one canvas, but I think to be less wasteful, if you had, say, four or five different canvases prepared, you could probably do this and just dip five different ones in, and then you'll have five paintings that might be similar-ish. Kind of like a printing technique, I suppose. But we'll see how it goes. It might be awful, so I might not recommend it. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not gonna lie, this might be my favorite technique because I already just love that how it is. Now, I don't know whether you swirl these paints together. I suppose you could. You could do whatever you want with it, really. But I think I'm just gonna dunk my canvas in just like that and see what happens. I might give it like a little jiggle while it's on the paint. I'm slightly worried. Well, here it goes. We'll see what happens. No, I'm not gonna jiggle it. Once you've pressed it down, all that paint's just gonna splodge onto the canvas. And now I guess we just lift it up and see the mystery. Ah, please be good, please be good. I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. It's not what I was expecting at all. I don't know, it might look really nice once it's dry. I prefer what's in the tub though. I want that to be my painting. I don't think I want this to be my painting. Oh well, I'm gonna put it to one side and just hope for the best. Okay, so the next technique is the one that started this video off and it's using a balloon to do an abstract fluid painting. And I've already got my canvas here. I've just primed it with a red. I've done a pretty shoddy job of priming it to be fair. And the video I watched, that Lynn sent is. That person's paintings actually looked really nice. It was quite a nice technique. So I'm hoping this one's going to work out better than the previous two. Actually, I'm looking at the previous two. They don't look awful. Maybe I'm being too critical. They just might not be my style. I don't know. Also, if you watched last week's video and you want a little update on the redundancy situation, there's not really much news apart from I had my meeting. I'm not sure whether it went well, but I have another meeting in a couple of weeks time. So I'll be able to update you then. But I feel like I've calmed down a little bit from last week. Last week I was definitely on the edge of a nervous breakdown because I'm making vases out of pasta. This week I'm just a lot, <laughs> I say I'm a lot more relaxed. I'm not a lot more relaxed, but I'm a bit more relaxed. And poor painting helps, I suppose. Okay, so with the balloon painting technique, all you do is add blobs onto here. So you just use lots of different ones. And I think what you can do with this technique as well is blob and then use that blob again and blob again. I feel like I'm just winging this video. <laughs> don't really know what I'm doing. I've watched other people's videos and it just, it still, still doesn't seem to be going well. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh, that's quite nice actually. Oh, this is dangerous for someone like me. Someone who has no idea when to stop. Oh, that is nice. I think with paw painting as well, sometimes you don't really have an idea of what you want to do. And then the paint just tells you what it wants to do. I quite like that. I think I'll use a different bunch of colors here and go up like that. See, this is why I said it's dangerous for someone like me because I get carried away and I don't know when to stop. I think also if you had a plan for this or maybe it's a little bit more time to figure it out or figure out what you want to do, it could be a really good technique. I'm just gonna play around a little bit more. <laughs> Okay, I still don't know how I feel about it because I don't think it looks very good. But the individual blobs, they look nice. The painting as a whole, at the moment, it doesn't look good. But once it's dry, it might look amazing. Okay, so moving on to the final pop painting. And you might notice a few more white flicks here and on my face. And that's because I was opening a white paint of tube and it flicked all over us. And it was off camera, so you didn't get the joy of watching my reaction. But I can assure you, I swore a lot. I'm glad I didn't have my mouth open, otherwise it would have gone right in my mouth and I would have eaten the paint. But anyway, this balloon painting is gonna look way better than the last one because I have quite a good idea for this. Okay, so I want to start with some blobs all the way up at the top. I feel like I might have added a bit too much paint. Okay, and then just balloon squidge it again. And I want it to be quite close together. I hope this idea works. It works in my mind, but it also might look awful on paper or on canvas, actually. We're not working on paper. I think I've gone out of control already. How did that happen? I think this would be a much easier technique with regular acrylic paint rather than pour paint because the pour paint, it's better for just fluid kind of wishy-washy painting. Whereas acrylic paint, you would get more of the structure and I've done acrylic printing before with different objects. And yeah, I think acrylic paint would be way better for this. It's just very hard to control with a fluid paint, but we'll continue because I can't do anything else now, can I? But this was not my idea. I will say that straight away. It was supposed to look like flowers. I don't want to admit that, 
but it's true. But I'm not done yet because I want to add some like vine things to it, just using just regular paw paint. This could ruin it, but we'll see. It's either gonna ruin it or make it look way better. And I think we already know the answer. Actually, screw it. I'm not gonna go for flowers. I'm gonna go for circles and lines. That's what the painting's saying to is now. Do I wanna go further with it or do I wanna stop? Uh, I'll add a little bit more, I may as well. I'm already this far in. I feel like someone needs to literally come into the studio and stop me from doing whatever I'm doing. But now my mind's thinking, what happens if I balloon more of the top of this? But I feel like if I do that, it's gonna look even worse. Or do I add more lines? Or do I add a new shape? Do I introduce squares? I might just stop myself. <laughs> I might just be having a really off day to day, everyone. If you're new here, I'm not usually this bad. Well, that's debatable, isn't it? <laughs> I have a lot of off days. You know sometimes when you go away and you come back and you look at it with new eyes and you're like, oh, actually, it's not as bad as I thought it was. That might happen when this is dry. I don't think I can do any more. I don't think I should do any more. But I will say that balloon painting technique is really fun. And I think it has a lot of potential to actually be really nice. Because obviously I've seen other artists do it and it looked nice. But anyway, I'm going to let all these paintings dry and I'll meet you back here in a few days and we'll see what they look like. I might come back with a way more positive mindset because right now there's just so much negativity in my head. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to clean my face and I'll see you in a few days. All right, I'm back. And the first one I've got is the string pull one and it actually doesn't look too bad. It looks okay, but the thing is, it could have looked way better if I hadn't done that extra string pull. I think the last string pull really ruined it for us, but it's still Still, it's it's okay. I don't know, I think some people would like this, but I'm not like blown away by it or anything like that. And here we've got the dip one, and it basically looks exactly what it looked like when it was wet. And it looks fine, but I think it's just a little bit like pastel-y for me. It almost looks like sweets or something, or a wallpaper. It's fine for what it is, but I think you could do a way better version of this using that technique, and obviously do way more, and be a little bit more experimental with it as well. I think kind of swirling the paint around and stuff, you could get some nice effects. But again, it's all right, it's not offensive. It's just very, almost commercial. Something you would see in maybe like a hotel reception area or something, but it, it's fine. I I'd like, I don't hate it. Now this one, I really don't like at all. And it's that balloon painting I did. I think I don't like it because of the red background. And also I feel like I didn't really have enough of a plan with it. I just kind of went balls deep and just let myself get carried away. Like some of the individual blobs look really nice. But the painting as a whole, I'm just, I'm just not a fan. And the final one is of course the one where I got way too carried away with and I didn't stop once the camera stopped either so it might look a little bit different from when I first made it. So this is it here and as you can see it looks a little bit crazier than it did before and that's because I tipped the painting on an angle while it was drying so all the paint kind of ran down and I actually think it saved it you know. I think this is one of the moments where just doing way too much actually worked and it could either go that way, it could definitely go that way, that way is quite nice. I like that. Oh, that way as well. I'm actually pretty pleased with it, considering how rough I started with this painting. I feel like I've salvaged it, but you are more than welcome to disagree if you think this is too much, but I think it's just enough. That does it for today's painting video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And thank you very much, Linz, for getting in touch and recommending a video. I actually had quite a lot of fun, and I think I may potentially use some of these painting techniques at another point in my life, just when I have more of an idea of what I actually want to do. But let me know what your thoughts were on these paintings down in the comments below. And let me know if you've ever done balloon painting before and whether it went well. But anyway, I'll see you next week for a brand new video.